A big thank you to channel member Carl Crawford. Come on. <laughs> just, it's just it's one thing after another today, isn't it? Capture the game. Come on. Come on. I promise you, the game is on. <laughs> just, oh, there we go. Whee! There we go. Finally. Right, so good news is that we've pushed back. Uh, let me get the sound on there as well. Yeah, so good news. We have pushed back. There you go. Works. Wonderful. Fantastic. Let's actually start the uh, start the journey, shall we? Um, so we've done all that. We know what to do with the engines. So let's get the engines rocking and rolling. So as I said before, you can keep up to date with what's happening with the flight simply through uh, the wonderful task bar thing at the top now that we've got. So you can keep up to date with the progress. There's a progress bar that will start filling up as we start the flight. lights on. There we go. You actually see what we're doing now. Completely ground player 810 with uniform ready to taxi IFR. Player 810 taxi 2 and hold short of runway 19 by a taxiway November 12 November 4. Contact tower on 126.2 when ready. Last switch. Taxi and bleed off. Runway one niner using taxiway November one two November for player eight one zero. Good to go. Yeehaw! Let's actually start making our way to Liverpool, shall we? Get the map up as well. Just gonna have a look here. Hang on. Map is fine. Let's go back into full screen, bear with me. I mean, it is. Horrific here in Iceland this morning. So outside test. Engines running, lights are on. Let's get going. So, finally off and underway. Wouldn't get any closer, mate. Wouldn't get any closer. Maniac! Uh, what's the weather like in the area? It is cloudy, it is cold, but it's certainly not like this. That is for sure.
so let me know if it sounds okay, everything's fine, let me know in the chat. As we are taxing our way out and they're very, very drizzly, very, very orange looking Iceland. We make our way to runway one nine. We're climbing through to ten thousand feet on departure. Climbing out at two twenty. Just while the aircraft is uh, taxing out, we'll go ahead and set flaps. We'll take off. Uh, here in the southeast, it's uh, cloudy. Literally, the sun's just popped out. Very nice. It's a very, very bitterly cold day here today. I will work into getting Batsim um, installed, sort of, into the streams and stuff. I haven't used it yet. I am scared to use it. <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm scared to use that sim, I don't know why, I just am. But Yeah, I will I will look to integrate it once I sort of once I'm comfortable and once I know how I'm uh, how I'm supposed to um, to use it, etc. Okay. Just awaiting the clearance. Complaining tower player eight one zero ready for IFR departure runway one nine. Okay, there we go. So we've got the clearance. Cleared for takeoff runway one niner player eight one zero. Uh is this gonna be the world's longest stream? No, not at all. So we've got strobes on. Ready to uh get out of Iceland for our trip down to Liverpool today. Into the murk. <laughs> Into the murky, murky, murky clouds. Right, here we go then. Let's get off to Liverpool like we should have done probably about half an hour ago. As I say, toolbar at the top is going to keep you up to date with where we're going what our progress is like, you'll see that start to fill as we go. Um, so let's go for full power, not full power, we'll go half power, get the engines warmed. And now we go full power. Here's what it sounds like on the outside. And we're going to start to rotate now. Already into the Merc. Positive climb. Go for gear up. And so we will chuck the autopilot on. Climb through the clouds. A steady rate of climb. A 
And there we go. Uh, audio is cutting out, it will do because of the servers. what we're dealing with. Bump that speed up a little bit. stuff thank you Carl thank you for that no problem here with the audio so we're off and underway as you can see at the top uh, you can see there's, there's a, a bar that's starting to go across that will tell you how quickly uh, sorry, how, how far into the flight we are, and of course you can see the altitude going up, and the ground not speed's not going, is it? That's interesting. speed isn't working on the thing. Interesting. Wonder why the speed's not registering. It did when I tested it the other day. That is odd. Okay, so we're literally climbing through clouds right now. Absolutely. Here's the outside view. It's pretty mucky. <laughs> it's pretty mucky out there today. Good news to me. That is, that is some weather outside today.
Clouds looking good, says Carl. They do look good. They look fantastic when they when they do behave. They do look really, really good. Um, right, let's have a look through some other comments while we're here. Uh, Paul Hussey, good to see you. Remember taking off from Keflavik in an Air Tours MD82 in a blizzard in 1995. That must have been, must have been crazy. Uh, must have been utterly crazy. Um, need to buy the Reykjavik graphics. I do have the uh, do have the airport. While we continue with the climb, just bear with me. Bear with. Just trying to sort out why, because it's got the time at the moment for the ETA and the speed isn't working either, so I'm just going to have a look, quick look at those. It's actually showing the actual time, but it's not what I want. Time to go. Just mucking about here, just bear with me. that's actually showing the time that it actually is, not the actual Also, I just want to kind of extend my uh, thoughts to those affected by um, the sudden collapse of Flybe overnight. I woke up this morning to hear that news and it was very, very sad. Very, very sad. So thoughts go, uh, thoughts do go out to those affected. Right, just going to come off the chat quickly. Do keep getting your comments in. Like I said, I'll show or I'll let you know shortly how to have your shout outs and everything. Oh, 
Oh god, really? <laughs> okay, so as if this couldn't get any worse, the sim has decided to crash on me. Oh, it doesn't want me to do it today, does it? Oh, it really doesn't. So, yeah. So, Sim has decided that it's going to crash on me again. Effectively ending the flight already. <laughs> God sake. I just, I can't, can't have a normal stream, can I? Can't have a normal stream with this game. So here's what's happened. Oh, let me show you the camera. All right, let me show you. Let me show you what it is. see that can you no it's too bright basically I've had a warning come up on my thing to say that uh, it's decided to crash on me oh for god's sake what do I do what do I do now okay because I know what's going to happen. I'm simply going to press OK and the sim's going to close. What do I do? Like, let me know what you want me to do now. Because I can reload it. So I can reload it and I can load it back in from where I was. This sim gives me absolute nightmares. Right, sim's gone. Sim's decided it's going to throw an absolute paddy. It's gone. Ugh, right. I hate this. Stand by. More landing skills. It will get to that point. I'm going to reload it one more time. Because I had to do this last thing. I had to do this last week with the Gatwick to New York. Also now means, yeah, simulator did crash. It's weird. When I play it offline, it, it, there's no issue whatsoever. The moment I stream it, it decides, no, no thank you. So I'm not gonna go off stream, I'm not gonna restart the stream, I'm gonna load back in from where I think I was. Then, if it crashes again, we'll just do some more landing challenges. But I was hoping to save that for the week. So. <sighs> Apologies. It's been absolutely fine. Absolutely fine during the week. Fine to stream them landing challenges, but the moment I want to do a flight, the game decides, nope, no thank you. No, not going to happen. And that is why when people say, oh, what are your thoughts on Flight Simulator 2020? I say to them, I have a love-hate relationship that leans more towards hate. Because I hate this more than anything. Because all I want to do, literally all I want to do, is to stream the flight without the game deciding it's going to... You know, I don't call it a sim. I said this last week and I'll say it this week. I don't call it a simulator. I call it a game. 
and you go onto like forums and things like that and people get annoyed with it simple fact is it is not a simulator if it causes you so many bloody problems like this this is not something you should be dealing with all the time you shouldn't be dealing with the game crashing because of whatever else my computer can handle this com this 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 game but for whatever reason it decides not to and i hate it with a passion and if it was a disc i would have snapped it in half by now I've done it with FIFA, I can do it with everything else, but it's just, you know, I can't snap this game in half, because <laughs> I can't. I don't know why, I don't know why it is deciding that it's doing this all the time. It's an absolute pig, that's what it is, it's an absolute pig. Uh, Paul Hussey asking for a Manchester to Heathrow shuttle run. Uh, getting like that with Train Sim World 3 at the moment. Carl Crawford, uh, would you like to do Manchester to Heathrow, then do Reykjavik afterwards? No, well, not partic No, not really. No, I don't want to go into Heathrow. That's the problem because it's just it's going to cause more issues for my game. I think it's the, the servers are just maybe it's because it's the weekend, and maybe because loads, you know, loads of people tend to play it. And maybe that's why. But I've done long flights before. Like last week, the game crashed on me twice doing uh, Gatwick to New York. But when I did it without streaming, it didn't crash once. But I've not. But it's not like I'm even using it. Like it's not, it's not even like I'm using it on players. Like so, you can see people. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's just a nightmare. It just makes me not want to play it. So we are going to do it. I don't know what it's going to do for. I don't know what it's going to do. So I've got to try and remember. Basically, I've got to try and remember where I was. <coughs> or where I would be. Anyway, just while we wait. Uh, if you would like... If you'd like a shout out on the channel, just like Carl has had, um, you can become a member by pressing the join button. Uh, if you go onto the channel um, and you find the join button, you can join the membership uh, or the membership that we have for £1.99 a month. Gets you extra little perks. You can see that Carl is using some emojis as well. And of course, he gets a nice little badge to say that he is a member. And of course, you get your name as a shout out. And also, um, towards the end of the of videos, like um, towards the end of like podcast shows and things like that, your name will be in the credits or any videos that we have. We'll also get a thank you throughout the videos as well. So if that is something that you fancy doing, uh, click the join button and your name will go straight onto that list as a thank you for your wonderful generosity to the channel. Of course, we'll be adding more emojis and more perks as the uh, as time goes on. Thirty subs away from two thousand four hundred. It's nice that people are still subbing, even though the game is uh, causing a huge issue. Uh, is that my emoji, Carl? Yes, it is, Max. That is your face. <laughs> Put your face as an emoji. I did indeed. Max has his very own emoji. You can use it if you become a member. Right, let me see where we're at. Halfway through. Uh, how did that come up? You have to be a member like Carl is. It's the only way you can use emojis like that. <clears throat> so, I'm going to try and think whereabouts I would be in this flight.
I think if I'm if I'm correct from what I've used before, it should if I spawn in a random location, it should basically on the progress bar keep the whole thing going as if you've taken off from Re uh, from Reykjavik. <laughs> it is Max's face. I know Max is a big fan of the channel, so it felt kind of right to uh, put Max's face in there. Hopefully, he um, approves. If not, we will get rid of. We will get rid of it. So Sim is currently reloading. I will try and remember where I got off to. Uh, or left off to thanks to the sim crashing on me nothing is happening nothing is going right with this at all so do bear with me but yes it is sad news about um Flyby this morning that we all woke up to. I don't think the thing is with the old Flyby, we all sort of expected it to happen because obviously there was news points and things like this, like oh it could potentially happen. But a massive sort of shock, and I was hoping to fly them because of the dash eight. I'm still waiting to go on a dash eight, and now I'm not going to be able to for a second time. Did you decide to add my face to the emoji section? I did, as I know you're a big fan of the channel. Okay, so rather interestingly. Right, Sim has now reloaded. So let me just quickly uh, try and remember where we got to. So it's about there, I think. If I go for, just bear with me, I'm going to reload ourselves back in. Let's try and remember where we left off. Uh, it's going to be... Omni Force C, wasn't it? So, roughly, we got to probably about there. I think that's about right. We weren't very far in there at all. Right, let's bring the game back in.
Flight's still going to go ahead. I'm going to just... Uh, it's reloading in now. To where we left off. But it's loaded us in at uh, cruising altitude. <laughs> See, it's already happening. Bloody hell, spells. Right. Well, there we go. Right, so the ETA is now working. Speed. Sort of. We're not. Does this every time you reload it? Just bear with me. Uh, Rob Brown, good to see you, buddy. Uh, afternoon, boys and girls. Hello from the frozen north. How's everyone doing on this fine day? I'd be even better if the game decided it was just going to play ball. Let me just get us to where we need to be. Oh god, I decreased it. Please bear with. <laughs> it's an absolute pig when you reload the game back in. Hooray! Got to where we need to be. Wonderful. Okay, so ETA is working, speed is whatever, heading is fine, altitude is fine, everything is working, the progress bar is fine. We're a little bit ahead of ourselves because that's how we, where we probably would have been. Uh, other than that, everything's looking good which is fine. So, fingers crossed. God. Fingers crossed. Can you hear the game? 
No, you can't hit the game. Right, there we go. So we're good. Let's get back into full screen. Right, there we go. Here is your outside view. Very, very stormy down below. Obviously, we went through the storm uh, earlier. Um, but we're expected into Liverpool, supposedly. I think that is because the speed isn't going up for some reason. Speed brakes not on. once we actually reach where we need to be. Uh, what flight are we doing next Saturday? Any ideas? No idea yet. I will have a think and then get it scheduled, ready to go. Something exotic, maybe, I'm thinking. Maybe if we take it down to the problem. Oh, for sake. Every time I'm pressing the bloody wrong button. No. Descend and maintain flight level three one zero player eight one zero. No, I don't want to. I want to increase it uh, by six. Reykjavik Center player eight one zero. Request flight level three seven zero. Player eight one zero climb and maintain flight level three seven zero. Climb and maintain flight level three seven zero. Um, could you do, could you do a possible tribute to Flyby? Poss I could do, actually. I could do. I could see if the Dash 8 works. I've got a Dash 8 one. I'm not entirely sure if it works, but I could see if it works. Right, I think we're good. I think. Why is... Why are we dropping? Don't know. Don't know. Dubai to Heathrow if you have the Emirates 747. I mean, it's a fair old flight. Literally, literally. Climb and maintain flight level three seven zero player eight one zero. We're getting there, right? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't think we'll do Heathrow to Dubai. I did do a rather nice flight from Dubai to Beirut uh, Thursday, I think that was. So yeah, so we're due into Liverpool around uh, sort of just after two o'clock by the ETA which is now finally working.
If anyone's got any route suggestions for next week, I'm open to listening to them. sitting at this is fine uh, goodness me um, Dubai to Frankfurt, Dubai to Hong Kong Dubai to Istanbul, Dubai to Seoul Dubai to Tokyo, Dubai to Koi Tak and more to come, oh that's what you're doing oh right, okay. I thought that was Reese suggestions <laughs> I was going to say that was um, that, that was quite, quite a long list um, let's have a look at some of the Showcase. So we got some people. <laughs> <coughs> got some people on board. I can hear it over speed. Really? Take it down to right two sixty five. Right there we go. So we are pretty much there. Let's go back to showcase. So there you go. We've got people. There's a lovely engine view, which I think is quite nice. What do we think? I think that's quite nice. Uh, Vancouver to San Francisco. I like that. I like that idea. Vancouver to San Francisco. I do like that idea. Some more... Um, views that you have sort of behind the engine on both sides you've got the sort of this is my favorite one to, when I'm sitting and just doing other things this is the one I normally go to I think you've got one on the other side yes you do there you go I mean how good does that look Nice, isn't it? <laughs> so we are due. Uh, yeah, so keep an eye on the uh, ETA. That is when we're due into Liverpool. So want to know what everyone thinks um, about the new um, tracking system thing that we have as well. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. These are more of the outside views now. Look at the uh... oh god! Oh, <laughs> check this dude! <laughs> wow, look at that as a beard. That is insane. Oh, I can't look at any others. Oh, can you see this? This guy? Can Can you see him? Please tell me you can see his wonderful ponytail beard. That is mental. <laughs> <laughs> I 
modern day Viking. Absolutely. Got ponytail there, look. Ponytail there, ponytail there. Goodness me. <laughs> oh my god, that is crazy. That's the uh, economy. These two haven't served a drink yet. They're not doing their jobs as um, as crew. Hats with horns would just add to the effect. I know it's. Cr I, I'm going to go back to it because I'm fascinated. Whether that's like a stereotypical thing, I am, f and I can't move the camera sadly because it's fixed. Or can I? Can I get a free camera? Well, oh, it's just a drone. Oh no, actually, yes, I can. Hang on, hang on. Let's have a proper look. Hang on. Right, let me get a proper look. Hang on, I can do this with my trusty controller. Trusty controller. We can go inside the plane as we fly. There he is. Look, he's immediately there. I'm sure that's him. Oh, there he is. Oh God, no! Slowly, slowly. Check it out, man. <laughs> that is insane. Check it out. I don't know why we're dipping down on this one. Gently. Check it out. Yeah, you're on camera right now. <laughs> that is a great beard. Like, full credit to you, man. <clears throat> That is insane. Well, oh, gee, where did you come from? I feel a little bit stalkerish now. There's Matt Cochran. Well, if I could slow this, hang on, let me slow this up a bit. Hang on. If I go speed for zero. Yeah, there's some characters, man. There he is again, look. There's two of him. Th there's two of him, look. Hang on. Uh, let's get the speed up a bit more. Oh, God, we can't move. Right, let's go again. There he is, look. So he's not only sitting there. <clears throat> he's also... Oh God. I can't, can't cope with this. It's too much, too far. There he is. So he's there and at the seat, like... This man needs investigating. Crazy. There he is again. <laughs> he just like he appears out of nowhere. Let's see if we can spot him again. There he is. I mean, 
that is a beard and a half, isn't it? He knows we're looking at him. <laughs> Man, that's a beard and a half. Goodness me. See, look, even she agrees, look. Even she's agreeing. Everyone, let's say hello to her. She's waving at us. Say hello. Hello. <clears throat> Man, check it out. If only you knew who was piloting your plane. <laughs> There's Matt Cochran, look. Anyone who knows Matt Cochran, YouTuber, that, that's Matt Cochran. Somebody please send a screenshot to that of that to me, please. Like this this particular screen. Somebody send that to me right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, crazy, isn't it? Wonderful. That was not awkward then, in any way, shape or form. Should we have a look at actually who's piloting today? The two coolest dudes. You just disappear when you get a little bit closer. You can't see them. Nope. Not gonna do it. There you go. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing for the showcase. That's what I quite like about the, the Latin VFR um, model of planes is like literally. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Don't forget to hit the join button. Uh, like I say, if you want your names on any shout outs or the end of the streams or videos that we do, podcasts, etc., you will have your own shout outs and you get to muck about with the emojis that uh, we have that Carl has uh, uh, very nicely uh, demonstrated throughout the stream so far. The dude has escaped from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> I'm it's like I'm, I'm sure I've seen him before somewhere. I'm sure I've seen him before somewhere. So we are cruising at 37,000 feet. Just going to take it down to not full screen, uh, full screen rather, and have a nosy at the chat. And I'm going to let my phone charge up for a bit as well. gets everywhere says Carl he certainly does we're making good time though I think at the moment it's a very good time does that change can I change that to ground speed would that work I don't know how people have it viewed, but I think we'll just go for airspeed. Awesome. Right, so, due into Liverpool around 2 o'clock, about, what should we say, about a quarter of the way. Uh, has the sea got an airport with a controller control tower underneath it? It said, if it says Shandwick Centre. 
I wouldn't have thought so. Wouldn't have thought so, no. Tomorrow's tomorrow's podcast is going ahead. We're talking about uh, British Airways Flight 38, which we were supposed to have done last week, but didn't because I wasn't feeling too well. But that will go ahead this week. What I haven't done either is bear with and put enough zoom in on my camera. So yeah, so that'll be taking place this week as well, uh, or tomorrow, I should say. Um, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to look at the dates here. Bear with me. So we've got 29th. Next week's show, I'm not sure what we're doing. The 12th of February, there's not a show. So next week's show, we might be doing rate my liveries. Uh, and then the 19th of February is when we come back because I'm not around for the 12th of February. So the 19th of February when we come back is Quiznis Jet 2. In which we have some wonderful guests line up, uh, lined up for, um, for the second edition of the game show. But the weather is a lot better up here than it was when we left uh, this morning. We left uh, Keflavik, and of course, thanks to the game deciding it was going to throw a wobbly. Let's see, will it tell us on the dashboard? Distance to go. Okay, so you don't actually see it on the screen. I might eventually add it after the stream here today. Um, but we've got 595 nautical miles to go. Time apparently is about an hour and eight minutes left. So I might actually add that into the um, onto the top bar sort of thing that you can see. Might give people a bit more of an understanding as to where we are sort of thing. Let me know what you think, by the way, <clears throat> like I said, about the, the tracker thing that we've got going. Let me know if that's um, if it's sort of helpful, whether it's, it's nice to have sort of thing, the progress bar, etc. So it gives you an idea of how far into the flight we are, etc. Let me know if you're, um, yeah, like I say, if you're, if you're happy with, uh, with that. Uh, tonight I am going to be flying from Heathrow to Bridgetown on the Bridgetown or Singapore are you watching the Premier League tonight uh, I'm actually out this evening so I'm I take it there is Premier League today isn't there Oh, there isn't. No Premier League tonight, uh, today. Just because it's FA Cup, FA Cup day. Uh, Singapore on the British Railways Triple Seven. Wonderful. I will probably look to do a Triple Seven flight now that I've managed to get it working, and probably bring in the Seven Four Seven again at some point as well. So what could we possibly look to get rid of uh, on top there? Do we want to see the heading? I think the heading we could probably get rid of. We could do distance left or time to let uh, you know, distance left and time 
left as well, maybe. Uh, did you manage to work 747 out? Yes, I think I have done. Because the, the 777, 200 and 300 are basically skins on top of the uh, avionics of the 747 on the sim. So I think, I think I've got it working. Because I did a flight in a 777-200 and a 777-300 and they all went fine. So I think it's worked. I think it's worked fine. Also, what I'm hoping for that might, well, but it should turn up on the screen uh, once we've landed is the landings, uh, landing uh, feet per minute. So anyone that watched the challenges during the week um, would have seen that we did obviously some, some landing challenges and it told us like feet per minute on the landing. What it should do, fingers crossed, is it should show it on stream once I've touched down how hard or soft the landing was through a graphic. Um, so I'm hoping that that is the case. I've put a lot of work and effort into it. So I'd like to think it's worked. Entirely sure what that says. Right, hang on, I'm going to try and find out what that says. Ah, okay. So he's asking what the name of the game is. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. That is the name of the game. I've literally just had to type it in on the, <laughs> on the translation thing. Literally. Like on the translation thing. Just to actually see what it says. It says, bro, what's the name of this game, bro? That's what it says. Microsoft, uh, yeah, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Let's have a look at the outside. So, according to flight uh, or the thing that I use 38 39% uh, into the flight an hour and two minutes to go 541 nautical miles remaining uh, just liked for you, Tom thank you Max uh, yeah if you are enjoying it despite the hiccup uh, drop a like um, helps the channel out immensely Gonna have a look actually at what we could potentially add to the top of the bar. Uh, when is the drinks trolley due? Uh, being Scottish, it's due. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I mean, like I said, don't take it up with me. No, -uh, don't take it up with me. What you want to do is you want to take it up.
with I'm gonna take it up with these two. They're the ones that are supposed to be serving you. Not down to me. <laughs> Not down to me. They are standing around not doing much. So, take it up with them as to why you're not being served a drink. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Back to the cockpit there. <laughs> so we've got about an hour or so remaining on the flight to Liverpool. Don't know what the weather is like in Liverpool so I'm going to have a quick look please be kind please be kind <clears throat> so Liverpool coming in on runway 27 at the moment I don't know what we're down to going on Okay, quite overcast at Liverpool by the looks of it, from what I've just seen. <clears throat> I'm actually quite hungry. Does anyone mind if I just disappear quickly to go get some food? You're not all going to do a disappearing act on me, are you, if I just disappear, get some food and come back? <laughs> Obviously the stream will stay running, but I, I kind of want to get some, some lunch. Go eat. Literally about five five minutes. I just gotta grab something and then I'll be back in. Uh, I think it's that, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Right, I should be back in about five minutes or so. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Uh, I will leave you with the cockpit view.
but it is in, ready to uh, <clears throat> it's in, ready to go. So I'm just going to wait for it to be done, rather than leave you lot again. Uh, let's have a look here. Go down. Anybody seen so much here? Uh, it's not part of the show or part of the channel or anything to do with the channel anymore. After after his anti uh, antics upsetting uh, some of the people behind us, uh, uh, sorry, upsetting some of the team members. So we have uh, got rid of him. No longer part of the of the channel. No longer moderating for us. Don't go around upsetting other members of the team and expect to uh, still be part of it. Uh, I hope it's not in the micro forty minutes. No. No, absolutely not. I don't know who you think I am. <laughs> I'm certainly not Jack Rolls. But no, it's literally in for the amount of time it should be. So what I want to actually, I want some feedback while people are here. I want to know in the bar at the top there what you do not want to see. Because part of me is thinking the heading is something that probably isn't needed. So I'm thinking, do we get rid of the heading? Just trying to think for like the future. Like, what would you rather see instead of the heading? Do you want to see something like... Uh, I mean, what have we got? I'll, I'll read out some of the options that you can see in the future for future uh, flights. The distance to go, uh, the time left remaining. I mean, ETA kind of helps that, I think. Uh, maybe distance to go might be an interesting one. Uh, Rob Brown only wants to see the. <laughs> he wants to see the drinks trolley. Don't worry, the whiskey's coming around. I told you who to go for. I told you who to go for. Uh, Kushan, good to see you. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. Nice video, thank you. Told you, you got to take it up with the with the people, uh, the uh, the crew. The crew are the ones that are slacking. It's obviously no reflection on play. I'm really liking the idea of doing Vancouver to San Francisco. I do like that idea. Uh, you're the captain of this ship. I think if anything's been established, Rob, is that I'm not a very good captain. I'm going to write some of the ideas down that you lot are coming up with. Um, for potential flights for the future. I like the idea of Gibraltar. So somewhere to Gibraltar, if someone wants to recommend that. Right, it's down on my, on my board, hang on. Um, 
I think Kai Tak would be a good one as well. I also like the idea of potentially doing something like a Japanese domestic route. I think that'll be quite interesting to do um, a few sort of. Uh, Squeezy Jet have Manchester to Gibraltar, or uh, they? Oh, I believe they do. Yes, I looked it up. Manchester to Gibraltar could be a good one. Or a nice flight down to St. Martin as well. St. Martin could be a decent uh, decent shout for a, a potential uh, route. I think we get rid of heading. Should we do that? I don't think anyone's interested in the heading, are they? get rid of the heading for the next stream next week because what I want to do, what I, what I plan to do uh, and these are sort of ideas that I'm throwing out there is to do flight sim on a Saturday and then one day during the week like a Wednesday or a Thursday don't want to be clashing with people that's what that's the only issue, don't want to be clashing with people so that's the, the idea would be to do a very short flight on a weekday and then the longer flights on a weekend so like domestic hops sort of thing But overall, uh, if we go back to the uh, go to the map here, we've got about 50 minutes or so left. <coughs> I'm thinking it's going to potentially ask us to go in on zero 09, but they are on 27 at the moment at Liverpool. So we might see if we can change that round. There's Chester for those interested. There's Manchester. Uh, what's that there? Uh, uh, Blackpool or Wharton? That's Blackpool there. So that's Wharton, isn't it? Yeah. We're doing a flight from Wharton as well, actually. On the PMDG uh, 737. But... I have heard a ping, so that means the microwave is finished doing what it needs to do. So I'm going to go and disappear again, uh, and I'll be back in the next sort of five minutes or so.
hello, hello, hello. Alright. We are back. Roughly, sort of, about 40 minutes left on the flight. 364 nautical miles left to go. Uh, Beluga flight from Hamburg to Chester. I mean, yes, would be fun. Uh, Beluga isn't available, I don't think, yet. Uh, on the sim. However, <coughs> we could do a delivery flight of, I don't know, a, an aircraft to a particular place. So, wouldn't be, wouldn't be too, too difficult. The only Airbus planes we got are, what we got? 320, 321, 319, obviously 318 as well. Uh, can't think. Can't think what else. But weather looking. A little less cloudy than when we left uh, Keflavik this morning. Going to 119 decibel 87 flight player 810. Scottish Centre Player 810, flight level 370. Player 810, Scottish Centre, continue to Adelo as planned. I like the progress bar actually, the more I look at it, the more I think it's actually quite cool. But um, oh yeah, I'm not, not too far away now, about 40 minutes <coughs> from uh, landing at Liverpool. I think if I did live uh, live time and weather for um, Vancouver to San Francisco, it would be a dark sort of early morning flight. <laughs> so I think it would be dark. I mean, it could be done. I mean, what time is it now? Over at San Fran. Five nineteen in the morning, so it would be a yeah. It would be a, a sort of a one of those overnight flights. So possibly could be could be something to look into.
Just had a look at a message there. So, despite the um, despite the hiccup of the game crashing, it's been an uneventful flight, really. It'll probably be more eventful when we try and land into Liverpool, though. But um, what I will say is, for the for next week, I think. I think it's the what's we on now? It's twenty. Twenty-ninth, fifth. Yeah, so the fifth of February edition of the podcast when we do rate my liveries, we are looking for somebody to come and sit in the hot seat. Give us ten liveries, and then have it uh, judged by the viewers. That sounds like your kind of thing come and uh, drop me a message on social media. Links to those are in the description below. If you fancy being in the hot seat. Last one we had uh, Ian in the hot seat. So I'm just going to read this message in full. Which is really funny. Honestly, some people. Uh, Andy from Airliners Live could possibly be a shout. I know he's been on the on the podcast before with uh, with Martin as well. And I'm also looking for people for Quizness Jet Two. How many people have we got so far, apart from the champion? So Steve is the reigning champion, and we have one, two, three, four, four people who want to try and take the crown from Steve. If you want to join in, we've got room for another four people. So if you want to join and uh, potentially become Quizness Jet champion and take that crown from Steve Waldridge, our uh, current champion, then also drop me a, a message on social media below, which are to be found in the description below. First episode of Quizness Jet went down really well. I was super excited to, um, to to do it to bring it back. For its second episode, I don't want to do it too often because it'll burn out. Otherwise, we're doing it once a month. For the 100th show, as well, which will be in the next sort of two months, we got a special, <coughs> a special plan for the 100th episode of the podcast. I will be getting involved as well. So, any more route suggestions that you'd like uh, for me to show? Because at the moment, I think I'm leaning towards Vancouver to San Francisco for next week. Player 
Iceland Air 471. Point goes to the uh, the first person that can tell me where that flight has come from, please. Iceland Air 471. Try drawing a <laughs> an effing Herc with your left hand. <laughs> oh, that was that was funny. Nothing nothing gets funnier than watching Jack try and tilt his phone the right way. Bear with me. Uh, Gatwick or Heathrow? I'm assuming that's probably root suggestion, potentially. Kyle is back with a massive hi. So hello to you. Thanks for popping in. So, not far to go now. Uh, where are we at there? Let me have a look. Uh, yeah, about half hour, half hour roughly to go. Uh, Carl is back. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Carl Crawford showing off the emojis that you can use if you uh, become a member of the channel. Oh, the Iceland Air that passed you, Gatwick, or... Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Iceland Air 471. 471. It is Gatwick. Gatwick to Reykjavik. Sporting the new livery with the blue, uh, or the ice blue colour. <clears throat> yeah, Carl is back. Thank you very much. Very, very much for the um, super chat there. No message, but a. <coughs> Super chat, nonetheless, much much appreciated. Anyone else can either leave a super chat or become a member to the channel for one ninety nine a month.
So let's have a nosy at the map once more. So there's the Islay, so it must be sort of approaching. That must be Belfast. Belfast City. Yeah, we're not far away at all. Not far away from landing at Liverpool. Some people, honestly. <clears throat> uh, high altitude airport arrivals such as Mexico City or Quito. Quito's. Quito apparently is supposed to be quite an interesting one to go into as well. So I think Quito could be good. The question is, where do I go from? Because I think the time of day that I do it, Unless I started it later in the day when it's starting to become really like a, a sunrise. You could do something like a. I don't know. Um, Christ. Uh, an airport. Long Beach. Or LAX. Or somewhere in California. Down to uh, Quito or Mexico City. Or even like a South American flight. Or even like Santos Dumont. Like I showed it during the challenges. Um. Trying to think when it was, yeah, uh, da, 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 Tuesday. I showed off Santos Dumont with a very short double runway. I think Santos Dumont could be a very interesting place to go to as well. In fact, I like that idea. On the suggestions board, it goes. Uh, Santos Dumont. Uh, Tuesday was good, Tom. Uh, I'm glad you uh, glad you enjoyed it, Carl. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, it was something a little bit different, obviously, to make up for the fact that we didn't have a show on Sunday. But to receive the reaction for it. But yeah, because the the response that we got for it, it was um, it's something that I'm looking to because there's quite a few challenges on there, and there are challenges that you can actually download as well to bring on the PC. Um, so <laughs> love the seven four seven into yes. <laughs> do you know what? Next time I do it, I might just do that again, just to kind of. <laughs> Uh, just to kind of like bring it back again and just see if I can do a lot better. It was horrific. That's how bad it was. 747 into Innsbruck. That was so bad. Into Dusseldorf was even worse.
Uh, cargo luck, 747 from Bogota to Quito. That could be fun. Could be interesting, actually. I like the ideas that are coming through. There's loads that I'm, like, flying out of Australia, like, maybe, like, Sydney to... Is it Perth on the other side? Sydney to Perth, that's, like, three hours. I think that'd be quite fun. But yeah, like, <clears throat> going back to the challenges, there are so many still to do, and you can still download quite a few more as well. And I think once I'm more comfortable in a PMDG 737, then we can do some more with the, like, the 737 and that. I've only flown it a handful of times, so I still need to get a rough idea as to how to sort of fly it. Uh, Sydney to Christchurch, that's a good one. I like it. I have flown that many times on flight simulators. I like it. Uh, on the board it goes. <clears throat> Sydney to Christchurch could be a good one. Uh crashed and burned yeah there's a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of them um, I said a lot of interesting challenges I don't know like the fact it's clouding up again So we're approaching Northern Ireland, which is below us at the moment. Uh, that is Derry, yeah, London, London Derry, is it or something? And then you got the two Belfast airports. We have a quick nosy. <coughs> there we go. There is there is land. genuinely thought it was about to crash them. So in fact let me let me go for the overshot there. There we go. So you can see we're about to go. So we got some land uh, approaching us. I am being harassed on Instagram. Right, so, oh, it's, no, it's a tricky one for next weekend, because so I've really got the idea of wanting to do Santos Dumont in Brazil, <laughs> like a Brazilian domestic flight, but then Vancouver to San Fran sounds good. Uh, Southend to Dusseldorf in a Eurowings. Need to get the bleak machine looked, <laughs> looked out for challenges. 
It was colourful. Uh, colourful though, I was... <laughs> yeah, I think what I should have done is literally I should have um, put like a little disclaimer out to say that there, there would be some colourful language. I haven't been flagged for it yet, so obviously, you know, YouTube ain't picked that up. So, yeah, South End to Dusseldorf. South End's an airport I've never actually flown out from before. So I think it could could be a good one. On the list. South End to Dusseldorf. It's on there. Closer, I think, to starting the descent. Going to one tree tree, death all one two five easy six seven zero four. Right, apologies for that. Right, okay, so we are continuing on. Um, yeah, uh, the, for me, the on the challenges, the um, for me the challenges, the, the crosswind ones were always the interesting ones. I have flown in like strong winds before, but it was like literally chucking the plane here, there, and everywhere. So. I think colourful language was, was justified. <laughs> At least in my mind it was. Player eight one zero, contact Manchester Centre on one one eight decimal seven seven five. Good day. One one eight decimal seven seven five for player eight one zero. Manchester Centre player eight one zero flight level three seven zero. Well it should be coming up shortly. There it is. Right, so I'm going to switch back over to full screen. Descend and maintain flight level tree one zero player eight one zero. Going to bring up the chat on the phone. Right. Let's start descending down. So. We're down at 22,000. We'll start to lower the speed as well. <coughs> uh, Santos Dumont to Iguazi Falls in a Varig Electra. If only they had the Electra on the game, then possibly. <laughs> Yeah, Brazilian domestic flight would be interesting. Okay, so as we are descending, 
going to bring up the speed brake ever so slightly. Just to help us slow down. <clears throat> That's the Isle of Man there, isn't it? I believe it is. Me and Ian, f uh, yeah, me and Ian flew there the other day. Um, So if I look down, it's because I'm looking at the chat on my phone. Okay, so descending down to 31,000 feet, which we'll get to shortly. We've armed the speed brakes, so it's slowing us down. We're about to get our <coughs> next descent. momentarily descend and maintain flight level 210 player 810 okay, go down a little bit quicker this time to 210 going to keep an eye on the speed. Sticking at 240, which is fine, which is what we want. Whether it's protocol or not, I don't know. I'm not a pro pilot. Right, we are going a little bit quicker, so we could probably arm the speed brakes a little bit more. ever so slightly just to kind of bring that speed down a little bit more so in the chat right now as we descend for Liverpool <coughs> I want predictions as to what the uh, feet per minute number will be for the for the landing I'm hoping it shows on the screen, I'd be massively disappointed if it doesn't. But I want a prediction for the feet per minute. <coughs> what do you think it will be? There is, of course, no limit. I'm going to try and aim for at least the 200s. I think anything less than 200 would be fantastic, but anything more than 200 would be disastrous. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Landing is not my forte on this game. So I kind of want to know what you think it might be. So, get behind the plane. Over the Isle of Man at the moment. If we have a look upwards. There is the airport of Isle of Man. Going to one one nine or decimal eight seven five. Jump down three two four three. Don't give up the day job. I think that counts as a as a number. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. So it'll be interesting to see what runway we go into at Liverpool. In real life, they're on 27.
Right. <coughs> Predict if he's a good or if it's going to be a good or a bad landing into Liverpool. My guess is it would be a bad landing. Alright, next down to 9,000. Descend and maintain 9,000 feet. Player Can't see if that's 9, is it 9? Yeah, it is. Start descending into the clouds shortly. Which doesn't fill me with confidence. Okay. So descending through 19, no, 18,000, 18,000 feet right now. Speed is still a bit high. Get those speed brakes on a little bit more. Manchester Center speed bird nine three four is passing five thousand five hundred feet, climbing flight level three five zero. Thirteen percent. Speed bird nine three for Manchester Center altimeter three zero decimal. For two Just to get us to slow down a little bit more. Don't like the fact that we're going to end up in pea soup conditions. I think they're going to drop us in on zero 09 if I'm honest. <coughs> Will P. <laughs> Will P. I've just alerted Liverpool Airport, fire services, and the ambulance. Yep, yeah, or on standby, of course. <laughs> I'd have done that as we took off from Iceland. Got them ready then. Wouldn't have left it this late. <laughs> <coughs> Need about every single uh, emergency service from Merseyside <coughs> on hand for this one. supposed to be <coughs> scattered clouds at quite a low altitude, so fingers crossed. We'll be able to see where we're going. It's all hand flown, I'm not doing this whole ILS thing. We don't believe in ILS on this channel. <laughs> it's all about hand flying in. to the clouds. I suppose before we do disappear into the clouds, what does everyone think of the play livery? 
because I quite like it. I quite like the the, the, the play livery. What's everyone's take on play? Uh, Will P saying that play is a great livery. It certainly is. I suppose you could ask, is play a yay or a nay? <laughs> is play a yay or a nay? I think it's a bit red. <laughs> <coughs> Captain Obvious. I like it. Alright, start bringing that speed back again. It's at 2.30, we'll go back to 2.20. As we edge closer to completing our flight, into Liverpool. There's a few aircraft that have popped up at Liverpool. Uh, du -du -du -du. Am I not at 9,000? Oh, apparently not. Uh, the 321neo has been into Liverpool a few times now I haven't caught it yet I've only ever caught it once <coughs> and it was when I was leaving Stansted because it wasn't actually coming up on, on radar so I thought oh, I'll leave it I'll catch it another time <coughs> and as I was walking back from the spotting location I saw it tack like, getting towards the, uh, the runway and I was like well where'd that come from so I literally sprinted back to the spotting location and managed to grab it on video cloudy day though mind but still a lovely uh, lovely livery to catch there's an aircraft going over us at the moment Uh, are you on real time weather? I am indeed. I am on real weather and real time. In fact, for 9,000, we can go a little bit quicker, I think. We'll go at 2.30. Uh, a bit cloudy here in Liverpool today, no wind though. Uh, that's what frightens me is the fact that it's cloudy. <laughs> oh god. That's what I wanted. Alright, into the pea soup. Yeah, just take it down ever so slightly. I've got a feeling it's going to take us in on 09, even though I think they're 27, didn't they? <coughs> Sky full of what looks like snow here. Yeah, it's a cloud. No good. <coughs> no good to me. So. Interesting. Descend and maintain 7,000 feet. Keep speed not above 210 knots. Player 810. Speed down to 210. Player 810 contact. Liverpool approach on 119 or decimal 855. Good day. 119 or decimal 855. 
Liverpool approach player 8106,900 feet. Player 810, Liverpool, approach altimeter 30, decimal 45, continue to type pod as planned. Big nose up from the plane then. I think they're going to go in on zero 09. Oh, two seven. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna have to do this for the heading. Aren't we? Right. One eight not above one eight five knots. Expect ILS runway two seven approach via Lima Papa Lima transition. Clear to Lima Papa Lima player eight one zero. Let's go with heading. Right, that's what we're heading for. Apologies as I just try and focus a little bit. Player eight one zero, you are one thousand four hundred feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain seven thousand feet altimeter three zero decimal four five. Climb and maintain seven thousand feet, player eight one zero. Might have to bring that speed up then. Any background noises you can hear are literally my next door neighbours outside. Right, into the pea soup. <coughs> so we head for a zero 09. Uh, for a zero nine zero heading. <laughs> yeah, two seven. That's fine. I did think we were going to go two seven, but I just want to get under that cloud. Once we get under it, I'll be fine. <clears throat> Under the cloud we go. Maintain two thousand five hundred feet player eight one zero. I'm gonna do it gradually, I think. It's probably the best option. Just for now. Into the pea soup. Alter the heading a little bit. So this is my view, literally, for now until we get out of the. Bit of time before we can actually bring it properly down. Start 
start to bring that speed back now. Right. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at my board just while we do this approach. Right, I've got a couple of choices for um, for next week. We've got Sydney to Christchurch, South End to Dusseldorf, or Vancouver to San Francisco. What would you like to see? Start to bring that to 180, I think. Probably start to go down a little bit more. Player 810 descend and maintain Now, stop this now. Come on, servers, not now. Descend and maintain 2,000 feet, player Uh, Will P, I've recently got uh, Flight Sim 2020, still on the training program at the moment. It's very different to the old FSX. Certainly is. Certainly is so much different. <laughs> so much different. I think it has its positives at times as well. Start to knock it now to about 230, I think we want to potentially go for. Four two seventy. Uh, Manchester to Pula in Croatia could be a good shot. Go for our second batch of flaps and we'll take the speed down to one eighty. Airport is coming up. I'm going to miss it completely. Uh... There it is. <laughs> right, I tell you what, it's fine. It's fine. We'll go around. We'll go around. Go around, it's fine, it's not an issue. We'll go around. I can't, I can't handle this, like. Yes, going around, going around. I just I hand fly in, like. There's also an aircraft on the runway as well, so probably a good idea to have actually gone round. Oh, 
that, so we're going for autopilot and we'll go for that. Right, we'll sort this out. Uh, are you using a yoke? No, nope, side stick. Side stick for this one. Back to one eight five. Right, I'm going to go silent just while I try and get this plane it down. Keep your chats coming in, I will read it once we're on the ground at Liverpool. A little bit longer than I expected, actually, but. Come on servers, not now. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a wider approach. Is that it there? That is there, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Not now! Surface. Jesus, man. Right, here we go.
Oh, server stop. Little low. Oh, these servers. Oh, go away. God. Yeah. Oh my god, the servers! <sighs> Literally, it's so bad. What's this now? Sake this I swear to cry when it works it's absolutely fine, yeah. Oh my god, stop. Player eight one zero contact ground on one two one decimal nine or five five. Going to one two one decimal nine or five five player eight one zero. Welcome to Liverpool. So the landing was fine. I think it would have been a lot better if the servers... I mean, why? Why? I mean, unless it's the fact that it's... The cloud? Is the cloud doing this? get everything off that we need so we're gonna go uh, taxi when we turn light that's all we need it's every time friggin servers literally I bet if the sky was clear it wouldn't be an issue my PC can handle it Servers are obviously having an absolute mad one. Uh, stand down, type not. Yeah, I, I think they were needed in the end. Just one smooth landing. That's all. I, for whatever reason, it is, it is so impossible to land smoothly on this game. I'm not the only one to say that. And there are people that are probably doing it on ILS and things like that, but if I'm. I'm more of a hand flyer. Is there an update missing? I don't think there is. It could be the scenery. The scenery could be causing it to kind of go a bit jittery. This is the Liverpool airport scenery, so it may very well be the airport scenery. But alas, we are at Liverpool in the end. Ryanair's and easy jets. Yeah, we've got a marshal this time too. We've got somebody marshalling us in, so I'm going to go into the cockpit.
There they are. Can you see them? How much more right do you want me to go? Okay, now we're going to go straight. Still going. Come on, lad. Any further, I'm going to collide with the tug. Come on, lad. Still going, really. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Bring it in, boy. Bring it in. And... Come on. Boom. There we go. Okay, actually, we weren't that bad. That's pretty good, actually. Right, let's turn everything off. Thank you very much. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, right, wing light off, nav lights off, beacon off, uh, taxi lights off, runway turn light off, and then we can turn off. Uh, batteries! Not without turning the engines off, of course. Job done. I mean, it's not like it's straight. But there you go. We're at Liverpool. Uh, it's the add-on uh, add scenery for Liverpool. <coughs> Hour and 56 minutes, which sounds about right. We took off from just outside of uh, Reykjavik uh, due to the... Um, way that the game crashed earlier and we landed at I think it was 723 was it minus 723 feet per minute happy days Alright, so there you have it. There you go. We are at Liverpool. I'll go. Um, I'll give us a nice sort of. I think it's a scenery, if I'm honest. Uh, scenery is, is a is a download. They're still on board. They're obviously waiting to get off. Y'all can stay. <laughs> Let's give us a nice sort of showcase. He says, "It's a, it's totally the scenery, or the fact that I'm streaming it." Really? Ah, it's I've got the wrong controller. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sat there like, why is it not working? I've got the wrong bloody controller. That's why. Right, let's go. Let's give us a nice sort of ending shot. There we go. We'll go with that. No, let's get the winglet in. There we go. Let's take it out of full screen. I think that'll do it. 
That should have it, I think. Cool. Right, there we go. That is uh, Reykjavik to Liverpool. Typically, everything's these servers, man. There we go. Right, that is Reykjavik to Liverpool. Uh, despite the hiccup that we had, we got it down on the ground. Um, I think in the end, okay. I think the scenery kind of played up a little bit, um, but we got there in the end. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, obviously we'll be back next Saturday. Uh, we may do some landing challenges during the week. Uh, so stay... Something flying overhead in the game. There. You see it? You might not be able to... There. Going towards the cloud. Um, but yeah, so we, we'll possibly be back next week for some. Uh, well, you know, we will be back on Saturday next week for uh, another flight sim stream. Um, I'll have a think or two the suggestions that you guys have given us um, to where we go for that. Um, well done, Tom says Carl. Thank you very much. Obviously, showing off the emojis as well. If you want those emojis, you can click the join uh, button. Uh, gets your name into the videos at the end of the stream and of course you get a shout out as well like we gave Carl earlier which is in the form of this that is what you will see uh, at the start of uh, sorry at the beginning of the show uh, any sort of streams or videos or even during the videos as well so if you fancy that click on the join button uh, other than that uh, we are done for the day, uh, so have a wonderful weekend, um, and I will see you probably during the week at some stage for some more landing challenges, um, and we'll throw in Innsbruck, seven, uh, sorry, 747 at Innsbruck as well, just because, why Why not, why not? Uh, so enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, I will see you during the week for some challenges, and I'll also see you tomorrow for the podcast, where we talk about... Uh, British Airways uh, Flight 38. Um, yeah, what's left for me to say is have a rest, have a wonderful rest of, the, of your day, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for the podcast. If I don't see you tomorrow, see you during the week. Take care, everybody. Bye.